Well, uh, the first news that we have for you guys is about Steve Bruce. Now, according to Mail Sport, it is clear that Steve Bruce wants Willock to return after his impressive loan spell in Newcastle. He wants him back here at uh, the Newcastle United FC. The 21-year-old is unsure though and Arsenal will command £20 million according to Mail Sport. I think 20 is really low. I think the Mail Sport shit is not accurate so i understand why it is not accurate as well so shut up moving on so according to footy insider 247 leicester have been informed bertrand has accepted their contract offer which is a major blow for arsenal trust me it's not and it should not even consider it to be a major blow so ryan bertrand right now is uh, almost done to leicester city according to footy insider 247 should we believe them let's see Lucas Torreira. Now, according to Mate Moreto, well, uh, there are certain. They, he actually tweeted this out that there are certain possibilities that Lucas Torreira will stay at Atletico de Madrid. The parties still have to negotiate on the cost of the transfer. Well, it's not only him. I mean, it's not only that kind of uh, player that they're looking at the moment. According to Lazio uh, Siamonoi, yeah, Lazio Siamonoi. Uh, okay, Lazio are interested in Lucas Torreira. Arsenal would accept a loan and give the Italians an option to buy for less than 20 million 20 million pounds so Lazio continues with Simon Inzaghi at the helm the signing of the renewal until 2024 closes the manager question and opens up reflections on the team one of the roles that will be discussed is that of alternative to Lucas Leiva last summer Torreira was compared to uh, uh, was also linked with uh, Fiorentina and Torino then ended up at Atletico Madrid on loan from Arsenal. As reported in the press review of uh, the Uruguayan, uh, will leave the Colchoneros and return to the Gunners, who will have to find a new destination. Lazio likes the player, and a loan operation with a right of redemption of less than 20 million can be appreciated by the London club. The transfer market is upon, uh, upon us, and the news is that Torreira will not stay at Atletico and is leaving Arsenal an opportunity for all the suitors, Lazio included. So, Lazio. Yes, Calcio Mercato Lazio, it's clear that they are in the pursuit of Lukita Torreira. And talking about the biggest news of the evening, Grane Xhaka has chances to leave Arsenal this summer as Willian, Hector Bellerin and many other players are. IS Roma are interested in signing him and uh, have open talks with his agents. Jose Mourinho wants him. Also Bundesliga clubs are in the race according to Gianluca Di Marzio. Well, the news really came in as a shock for me because uh, also uh, another source, Angelo Mangiante, came up with the news as well that AS Roma are optimistic about signing Granit Xhaka and are making progress in negotiations with Arsenal who have asked for 25 million euros, somewhere close to 20 to 22 million pounds. AS Roma will work on closing the deal for less and will attempt to find an agreement in personal terms with the player in the meantime. AS Roma have started talks with Granit Xhaka and his agent. Xhaka is a player Jose Mourinho wants, but Bundesliga clubs are also in the race to sign him. This is why Fabrizio Romano, why Gianluca De Marzio. Well, that's a funny story because also there's another source which tells uh, Francesco Porzio came up with the news as well. He says that Jose Mourinho's first target as AS Roma manager is Arsenal. Uh, midfielder Granit Xhaka. There is no agreement between the clubs yet, but work is in progress to complete a deal. Now, I've already posted this on my community tab according to a source that is Gianluca Di Marzio. Granit Xhaka has given his okay to join Roma. Negotiations continue between Arsenal and Roma. Strong and stronger possibilities, and this is a big shock. Granit Xhaka leaving Arsenal. I was not, I was actually not uh, looking uh, 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 that way, but. Yes, Granit Xhaka is leaving Arsenal. Um, wow, probably one of the best players that Arsenal actually had in this season. He will be no longer an Arsenal player. Wow, that's crazy stuff. And as mentioned, uh, it's very much exclusive that uh, Zinedine Zidane has decided to leave Real Madrid with immediate effect. Already mentioned, it's that. That is, I mean, it's a very, very shocking day. But moving on, Yves Bissouma is one of the options on Arsenal's midfielder shortlist. But he's not their first choice. Arsenal are looking at different types of players in that position. However, 
However, Kevin Campbell has a different say about Yves Bissouma. He should be the subject of Arsenal's interest in this upcoming transfer window. Campbell has given his verdict on Bissouma and said that he has been informed that a deal could happen having seen that the Malian international talking with Nicola Pepe after the Brighton's game at towards the end of the season. So speaking to Highbury squad, he said, I am hearing he wants to come to Arsenal. That's what I'm hearing. So Arsenal have got to make some moves and get him. I don't know if you saw it at the end of the game, him and Pepe were there talking. Uh, and I think Pepe was just talking him, through, taking him, talking him through the Emirates. You go through that door at the top, you go, got down the side there and there's a bar. Your family will be up in that box. My box is beside it. You know, something like that. Well, that's what uh, he had to say, but let's see. I'm, I'm pretty much sure Graham Potter must be, must be uh, ready to sell him. But right now, our biggest hot topic is Granit Xhaka on Twitter as well. He is trending. Granit Xhaka is trending amongst the football Twitter. And so is going to be Eve Bissouma. As I already mentioned, according to KMPG Football Club's valuations, according to the European elites, I would want to show you how exactly Arsenal have actually fallen. If you can see... Uh, lots of clubs that uh, uh, they, they have lost their value. There's nothing positive uh, in this list, but Arsenal have lost 22%. Yes, 22% of that value range has they've, they've lost it. So you can see the enterprise value for Arsenal. It's low. It's very very low. I mean, they have dropped one place to 11th with their value dropping down 22%. The biggest decrease among clubs in the list by 407 million euros. To 1.44 billion that is a very big downfall I mean downfall has been for Manchester United as well so is Liverpool everyone is in downfall there's no nothing positive in that list but clubs are really bleeding money they're bleeding money and the situation is really difficult it's it's actually very difficult at the moment so let's see how they cope up with this so Arsenal defender William Saliba who's on loan at OGC and was named in the League On Team of the Week in the final match day. That's a crazy stuff. You know his quality and the big question is will Arsenal give him that opportunity next up. So moving on, Per Mertesacker on Arsenal's FA Cup final win over Chelsea on this day in 2017. Being his only appearance that season says it was a unique moment A football fairy tale. Was there anyone left who still believed I could give that kind of performance? Probably only Arsene Wenger. I mean, Martin Keown also had to say about this FA Cup win over Chelsea. He said, this should be called the Pierre Mertes Saka final because I can't believe the performance he put in. The 2-1 victory against Antonio Conte's Chelsea was the key for Arsenal winning a trophy that season. And talking about trophies, there's a new man in the market. Well, key Sheffield Wednesday figure departs after being poached by Arsenal. The former Manchester United fitness guru is set to leave the uh, Sheffield Wednesday uh, um, she Sheffield Wednesday set up having agreed to become Arsenal's new academy head of sports sciences and medicine Tony Strudwick joined the Owls in the summer of 2016 Tony Strudwick is leaving Sheffield Wednesday after landing a job at Arsenal Yorkshire Live can exclusively reveal it is understood he is heading to North London to take up a role as the Gunners new academy head of sports science and medicine after two years at Hillsborough the former Manchester United fitness guru was drafted into the Owls backroom team by former Steve boss Steve Bruce. Now, given that Strudwick, who also works as the Wales national team's head of performance, is a vastly experienced and respected figure in the sport, his departure is a big blow to Wednesday as they continue their preparations for life in League One. It remains to be seen whether Owls boss Darren Moore will choose to promote from within or seek an external replacement for Strudwick. Congratulations, bro. That's all I've got to say for now. Moving on to Kieran Tierney. Now, Andy Robertson has opened up about Kieran Tierney uh, recently. So, he says that uh, I've got a lot of time for him as a person and as a footballer. Uh, he's an incredible player. He's still young. People forget he has a lot of potential to get even better. And he already is a fantastic player. But he will get better and better with his attitude. So, Fabrizio Romano's tweets. I, I actually forgot about the Yves Bissouma tweet. So, here it is. Ibisuma is appreciated and he's one of the options in the Arsenal's list as midfielder, but not the first one. Arsenal are also looking at different kind of players in this position. Many clubs are interested in Bisuma. Liverpool too. The race is open. Okay. Agreed that the race is open. So... 
Also, Granit Xhaka is one of the just 10 players in Arsenal's history to play 50 plus games under three different managers Wenger, Emery, and Arteta. Crazy stuff. Supreme crazy stuff. Oh, oh. And with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal content, best place to be. Consider subscribing. Cheers.